Mutter Nation, Coach here. We've been on this awesome adventure across the West Coast, road tripping, getting outside. One thing you should think about when you get outside is survival. So today with me, I have a survival expert, Cliff, founder of Adventure Out. Why don't you tell us some of the things that should be going through our minds when we're outside? Absolutely, Coach. So when you're out here in the wilderness as a human being, there's actually only four things you need to survive. You need shelter, water, fire, and food. And espresso. Uh, no espresso. <sighs> Nature. Drink it in. It always goes down smooth. What we're building here is called a debris hut. It's basically a survival sleeping bag made out of natural materials. We're gonna start by setting up this ridge pole to support the whole structure. So why don't you help me lift this pole up onto that stump down there. We wanna build our shelter here, right where the pole's low to the ground so that we're not asking your body to heat up too much space. It's gonna be just like a sleeping bag. You're gonna slide right in there and we're gonna start laying ribs across this whole thing to build the structure. Okay, should we get on it? Let's do it. I'm concerned. Okay, what are you concerned about? The ground, the, there's no mattress. There's no mattress. I need eight hours of sleep to, so my body can recover. From? Training, fitness. Okay. This will be nice once you acclimate to it, which will take a, a couple weeks. In a couple weeks, I'll in feel In a couple nice. weeks, you'll feel more comfortable in this. But you will be alive. Which is better than dead. Which is better than dead. So now it's time to see if it fits me. Moment of truth. Let's get on in there. It's kind of dirty. Yeah, it's made out of dirt. Here I am in my nice debris hut. When you find water in the wilderness, unfortunately these days it's usually not safe to drink. So we want to do something to filter it or purify it. Okay. Here we found a little piece of human trash. We found an old plastic bottle with the bottom cut off. So we're going to make little survival water filter out of this thing. Okay. So what we've done, found like from an old burned out tree, we got some charcoal. So we're gonna drop crushed charcoal in here once you get the rest of that charcoal nice and crushed up in there. So you want a powdery or? We want a little bit of both. Some larger chunks to kind of hold what's coming in on the top of it and then some nice fine stuff. Okay. Then the next layer of our filter is gonna be grasses. So over here. Grab some of these grasses. And get these guys all kind of wound up. So you don't really need to spend the money on a fancy water filter. Absolutely not. And the grass acts kind of as initial filter. Grab some of the larger particles. Okay. And then our charcoal acts as a more fine filter and purifier to kill off some of the bad stuff in there and give you much clearer water coming out the bottom. There's number two in our order of survival, so go ahead and drink up. Ah, it's delicious. I don't, I don't, I don't know why you had to drink it that way. I'm like man beast. Not gonna give you a knife out here, no modern tools. We're gonna create stone tools, just like people did thousands of years ago. This is called bipolar percussion. You're gonna hold this smaller guy. This is the guy we're trying to split into two to get a sharp edge. You're gonna come down on the top of it and give it a hard whack, harder than I just did it. There you go. So I made myself a, a nature's knife. You did. Nature's knife, all right, let's go carve that fire by friction kit. What you wanna do is carve this. It's already a nice cylinder. You just wanna strip off the bark and then okay. use that sharp edge you've created, that stone tool, and start grinding off the tip until you get a point on either end. Okay. So we've got our spindle, we've got our fireboard, we've got our handhold, which is just a harder piece of wood that we've cut off of a limb here. And you've gotta make your bow now. Okay. So, in a quick survival situation in a pinch, you don't have time to weave natural cord. You're gonna go ahead and take those shoelace off your marrow and make a bow. 
Am I like there? Yep. Right handed or left handed? I'm um, right handed. All right, so put your left foot up here on the fireboard. Good, and your right knee back. We're gonna kneel on that right knee. Yeah. I'm gonna hold the bow in your right hand, and we're gonna put the spindle in right there, and then come over and use the hole on the handhold over the top. And you're gonna start moving the bow slowly, keeping that bow nice and level to the ground, and you can use actually your shin to lock your wrist into to help keep the whole thing more steady. Just like that, use the whole length of the bow. There you go, I can smell it burning already. I you smell it. Smoke. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so stop. So last thing we're gonna do is get a tinder bundle ready so you have something to catch on fire and okay. carve a little notch. So when we carve a notch here in the fireboard, you're giving a place for all that hot dust to collect okay. so that it can form a coal so it doesn't all spin out to the side. So the last thing we need to do to get our fire kit ready is to collect tinder. And once you get it stripped off, you just start roughing it up. Good. We've got a fire built. We've purified water. We have our shelter, little man cocoon. Yep. We've got um, shelter, water, fire, and snacks. Snacks. Yes. Exactly. So I'm going to teach you how to hunt with a primitive snare. Okay. And uh, we'll see if you can catch some small game. I'm a savage warrior. The sling is a real simple device. It's just two strings that we've tied. Small piece of leather, it could even be sort of a thicker piece of plant material down here at one end, and that's our little pouch. It's gonna hold a rock, ties onto our thumb, and the other thumb tab we hold loose. So unlike what you see in the movies, you don't wanna be swinging this around over and over again. Okay. You hold it at your side, and you have one pass around the head, and release the tab. You need to approach your quarry with stealth. Quarry. Quarry, your target. Okay. With stealth, and then you release with fury. 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 Stealth, stealth, fury. Savage warrior. Well, Mutters, we just learned a little bit about survival out here in nature. Uh, so if you guys potentially take a wrong turn at a tough mutter, now you have a couple skills. Uh, my teammate here helped me learn some stuff. What did we learn? Learned how to build a shelter, how to start a fire, how to find and purify water, and how to get food. We, we, we you caught a here. fern. You're, you'll be stuffed. <laughs> Mutter Nation, see you next Thursday. You've been coachified.